and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today with four different trick bowls. Actually, they are only three different because two of them are having the same solution. However, I know the solutions already for these four trick bowls, but still I would like to show them to you because these are pretty, pretty cool. And one of them is a insanely clever and sneaky puzzle, which really drove me crazy. So what do we have here? We have three puzzles or three trick bowls here made by Konstantin Puzzles in Germany. These three, I think this one is called trick bowl number one. Trick bolt number two, trick bolt number three, and these two here having the same kind of solution. And this massive bolt here is called Ailey's Bolt. It's made by Ali Morrison from the Two Brass Monkeys. The, if you remember this baseball bat puzzle I recently reviewed, this is also from the Two Brass Monkeys. I will put your link in the video description where you can get this trick bolt if there are still some available i'm not sure about that on these two puzzles here and on this one the task is to free the ring while on this one the task is to remove this nut here from the bolt so if you look at this one for example we cannot really move the bolt it is just not possible to unscrew it same of course for this one because it's kind of equal and on this one i can actually not move anything at all and on the last one, as I said, there is this nut here and this has a little bit of free play. But I cannot really get it off. That's it for the introduction. And I would propose I will just show you the spoiler break and afterwards I'm gonna solve these puzzles one by one and show you and explain you how they work. Okay, so which one first? I would propose we start with the Constantine trick bolt number one and three, these two here. These two we put aside for now. The confusing thing is you can't really screw this off. There's a little bit of free play, but you can't screw it off. But if you turn it in the other direction, in this direction, it will start to screw in. But if I want to turn it back, it gets stuck again. And it repeats all the way, all the way until it's completely stuck. And if you looked at it in detail, you probably already noticed if I twist the nut, something else happens. This end here of the bolt will twist together with the nut. So it means it's not directly connected to the shaft here of this bolt. So I turn it a little bit in this direction, means inwards, and then I keep my finger here and tighten it a little bit yeah this will enable me if i keep it in this position to screw off the nut if i release it the nut will be blocked again i can't move it anymore so i need to turn it back a little bit keep it in this position and continue can you imagine how this works think about it it's pretty interesting Not recommended with a rusty bolt <laughs> or not. And this is how it works. So these two pieces are here in the inside, one cut straight and one cut not straight. But if I now tighten the nut, yeah, it will move over here. So I can just move the nut on it, okay? If it's moving in the other direction, you can see that the nut will change its shape. You see this? So if I, it's over here on this surface, it's flat and so I can move it. If I move it in the other direction, the friction will drag this piece towards this surface and the nut will not be straight anymore. It will be pressed over here against the thread from the inside, which creates a lot of friction and will block the nut from getting unscrewed. Pretty clever solution, but unfortunately pretty easy puzzle. This one here works the same. You can instantly see that this part of the nut is also significantly moving. So I just need to keep it here. And since it is longer as here, it's very easy for me to disassemble it. Cool. The reassembly of both of these puzzles is quite easy. So 
So very simple, very easy. From my point of view, these two puzzles are a level one. Okay, now it gets a little bit more tricky with this one. I think this is trick bolt number two. Looks significantly different, has a different ring. Also has to have these two cutouts here in the screw head. And the intention is of course, what something probably everyone will try first, to fiddle this thing here somehow through this area, but you will soon notice that this is pretty much impossible to do because it will get stuck here with the edge of the ring over here and also the diameter of the ring would never fit. It's just too small, you can't get it out. But if you look at the nut down here, you will see that this is welded or weld against the bolt. So there is definitely no movement. If I twist it, and this is the trick, <laughs> usually when you have a nut, you try to twist it here in this direction counterclockwise and it will not move at all. It's completely fixed. But we are smart puzzlers and therefore we know the trick with the left-handed threads. And therefore we try also to move it in the other direction. And if we do so, we can just unscrew it because there is another thread cut here inside of the bolt. And we can take off the ring of this one. Wrong direction, left-handed thread. <laughs> okay. These are the two, three puzzles from Constantine, but this one here, this one here is totally different. It's also a trick bolt. The task here is not to free a ring. The task here is to remove this bolt. Actually, I have to admit, it took me quite some time to solve this puzzle. So for my personal, if I consider my personal difficulty to solve this puzzle, I think it would be maybe a four. I was fooled by red herring, which is this nut here and especially this the slight free play this, that comes with the nut so um, I played with this I don't know maybe 15 20 minutes and I couldn't um, make any progress at all I start try to shake it you hear some rattling but it's not really something happening there's also nothing here on the top and what to do well after a while I noticed one thing that there is a hidden tool in this bolt. Hey, how should this be possible? Yeah, <laughs> watch out. It's possible like this. This up here is actually a lid that can be unscrewed. And it's tightened a little bit that you cannot just unscrew it easily because I cannot really untighten it like this. You need two fingers here. And if you press it, it's kind of stuck. It won't move anywhere. So you slightly need to push it and then you can carefully unscrew it or not, let me see. And unscrewed and it's actually a big plate here on the top, which is screwed inside a thread that's cut inside this head. And inside there is a Allen wrench. And seriously, this is so sneaky. <laughs> oh man, it's it's really, this puzzle is really fun. So you can see here, they, they just, Drilled in this hole here, probably on a lathe, and um, then cut the thread. Also manufactured this piece here, quite nice, probably out of another screw because of the marking here, which looks very authentic. Then there's this small Allen wrench, and all you need to do is you just loosen the screw. Now it's out. I should be able to unscrew it. Okay, it was a little bit stuck. <laughs> And you will see that this is the solution and the screw was only <laughs> used to hold the nut here inside of this notch and this is oh, this is so sneaky when I saw this the first time I was really laughing at myself on how complicated I was thinking about this puzzle and this is the perfect example how you could overthink the solution of a puzzle also what's very sneaky is that uh, not to tighten this tight so not super tight, but just slightly tighten it that you cannot reach it with your finger, but it's still loose enough to provide this. Oh, okay, I need to somehow move it and, and tap it or whatever to free this. And this is quite a nice, nice, nice 
tricky red herring puzzle, okay? Uh, unfortunately, on my copy, I need to mention that this is not perfectly made, not at, as the copy I had in the past, because if you look at the head of the screw, unfortunately, here, over here, it's slightly sticking out. So someone who will carefully inspect this puzzle will probably find the solution faster as I did because on the puzzle I tried. However, I think I still think it's a great puzzle. Same as these ones, even if they are easy puzzles. So let me know in the comments what you think about easy puzzles. Is an easy puzzle from your point of view also a bad puzzle? Or can there also be very, very cool easy puzzles like these ones here? If you know an easy puzzle, which is still cool, also comment below, let me know in the comments. Check me out on Instagram and Facebook. And until next time, keep on puzzling.